you never know if it's going to be a good day or a bad day out on the water. Kind of like this cruise experiencing here. This is the Cape Croatia container vessel and a few weeks back it was traversing the Panama Canal heading toward the Pacific entrance when all of a sudden an engine fire broke out. Fortunately for this crew, they were able to get it under control fairly quickly and no injuries were reported. Let's hope everybody else has the same luck as we roll into this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. Our first story to make the boating news this week is going to take us up to the Seattle, Washington area, where these images show the scene this past week when U.S. Coast Guard officials and Seattle fire officials were called to the Salmon Bay Marina after receiving reports that two decommissioned vessels were taking on water and starting to sink. But shortly after the crews arrived, this is the scene that happened as one of the decommissioned tugboats actually began to sink in front of the crews. Coast Guard quickly jumped into action and put up a boom around the sunken vessel, but the Coast Guard officials do claim there should be no environmental concerns from the vessel, as the vessel's diesel and oily water had all been removed approximately two years ago when the vessel was tied in the location it's at now. The other two vessels that were tied along the tugboat were concerned at first, as they were taking on water, but they do appear to be stable at the moment. Fortunately, there was nobody on board this vessel at the time of the incident, no injuries were reported, and the Coast Guard hasn't released a statement yet as to whether this vessel will be salvaged at all and removed from the water or if this is its new final resting place. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to the Gulf of Mexico where this was the scene just this past weekend when the cruise ship Carnival Valor had left New Orleans to begin a five-day Gulf cruise when approximately 300 miles off the U.S. coast they received a distress call from the U.S. Coast Guard claiming there was a vessel approximately 35 nautical miles away from the cruise ship taking on water in need of assistance. The Carnival Valor quickly diverted its direction and began to proceed toward the distressed vessel. Once they arrived, they found the vessel still afloat but taking on water. The crew of the Carnival Valor quickly jumped into action, launching one of their lifeboats and proceeding over to the vessel where they rescued three boaters off of the distressed vessel. The three Honduran men who were brought off the boat were brought back to the Carnival Valor where they received medical attention, food, and shelter. Fortunately, no injuries were reported in this incident due to the quick work of the crew of the Carnival Valor. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to the United Kingdom, where this was the wild scene just a little over a week ago when the RV Patrol was caught in high winds while at dry dock and the vessel literally toppled over. This vessel has been sitting in dry dock since 2020 when its operations ceased during the pandemic. The ship is used largely as a deep sea wreck exploration vehicle and is widely known for discovering the World War II USS Indianapolis battleship wreck. The total damage to the vessel has yet to be determined. There were 50 people on board this vessel at the time of the incident, but fortunately at this time, no life-threatening injuries have been reported. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to Croatia, where this was the wild scene just a little over a week ago when Croatian authorities had to destroy a massive World War II era ship mine that was located in the Adriatic Sea just off the coast. Officials claim that the mine was located in the seabed near the port of Rzekog, which was first discovered back in June. The mine was located too close to the city, so it had to be dug up and then moved further away before emergency teams could perform a controlled detonation on the mine. The videos seen here were released by the Croatian police after their operation was completed a little over a week ago. The crew said that the mine was very dangerous and contained huge amounts of explosives. It took over 24 people to take part in the operation to get the mine safely moved from the seabed out to a safe location for detonation. But it's just been an interesting time. You may remember just a few weeks back we talked about this. There was another World War II era mine that washed up onto a beach and exploded. And then just this week, another naval mine drifted into a resort at Odessa in the Ukraine, destroying part of the resort. Fortunately, nobody was staying on the property at the time and no injuries were reported. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening out on your waterways, be sure to hit us up on Facebook or Instagram and let us know, and you might see your stories over here. Just like Don Wybrow, Rick Hess, and Connie Crafton did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here. If not, we're coming to steal your drain plug.